Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching How to Videos. And in this video, we are going to learn how to backup and restore MySQL or MariaDB database using MySQL Dump. And guys, all the notes of this video will be there on my website dyclassroom.com. You will find the links in the video description, so please check that out. All right guys, let's get started. All right, so for this video, I have created a sample database and I have created a users table inside it and inserted few rows. So let me go ahead and show you that. So we are going to log into our database. So mysql dash u root dash p. My username is root and it is going to ask me for the password. So I'm going to enter the password and we are logged in. Now the database that I've created for this video is my db1. So we are going to write use my db1 semicolon and we have changed the database and now if we say show tables it is going to show us the table that we have created which is users so if you want we can check all the rows inside that table so select star from users and we have three rows at the moment so we are going to take the backup of this database mydb1 and we are going to take the backup of the content of this table which is the users table. So let me exit. All right, first we are going to take just the backup of the database and user table structure. We are not going to include the data inside the users table. So let me first go ahead and switch to my desktop and I'm going to create a directory let's say db backup so we have our directory now i will move inside that directory okay it's empty now to take just the backup of the database and the table structure and not include the data inside that table we write the following command mysql dump minus u followed by the name of the user in my case it is root minus p so this will ask us for the password then dash dash no data then the name of the database in my case it is my db1 greater than sign and then the name of the file where you want to save so we can call it my db1 dump dot sql hit enter it is going to ask for the password so i will enter the password and enter so now it has created the dump file so if we write ls minus la we have that file so if you open this inside visual studio we can see we have the dump of our database and you can see database name is mydb1 and we can also see the structure of our users table so create table users id first name last name primary key and all of this there is no data by the way because we have used no data all right, now what we are going to do is we are going to take the backup of the database and the table structure and we are also going to take the backup of the data inside that table. So for this, we are going to write mysql dump minus u name of the user minus p and this time we are going to skip the no data and we are just going to write the name of the database. In this case, it is mydb1 and we are going to save it in a file mydb1 with data dump dot sql and we are going to enter the password and it has created the dump so ls minus li now we have this file so if we open this in visual studio we can now see we have the database my db1 and we have the structure of that table the users table and we also have the data 
which is the insert query. So insert into users table values and we have three values. All right. Now that we have the backup of our database and the table structure and the data inside the table, what we are going to do is we are going to log into our database and we are going to drop the mydb1 database. So we are going to write mysql minus u root minus p, enter the password and we are going to write drop database mydb1. So we no longer have that database. So if we write use mydb1, it is going to throw an error. See, unknown database, mydb1. All right, now that we no longer have our database with us, we are going to restore it using the db dump that we created earlier. So the first thing that we are going to do is create the database. So we are going to write create database mydb1. Now, if we use mydb1 and show tables, we are going to get nothing because it is empty. So we are going to restore the database. So we exit. And in this case, we are going to restore the database using the second dump file because it has the data inside it. We can use the first dump file, but in this case, it is going to just create the table without the data. So to restore mydb1, we are going to use the following command mysql minus u root minus p followed by the database name, in this case mydb1, less than sign, and we are going to use this file. So mydb1 underscore width data underscore dump dot sql and we are going to hit enter enter the password and enter now if we log in enter the password and if we use mydb1 and if we now type show tables we can see we now have the users table and if we do select star from users we have the data inside it all right guys this brings us to the end of this video the notes of this video will be there on my website diyclassroom.com the link will be in the youtube description so please check that out and guys if you find this video interesting then please like this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click that bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.